do you switch or stick? And hopefully with this video today, I'm gonna to help you out with that decision. What's up YouTube? I'm Alpha Prime, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button? But today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus. So as far as the actual 86 Ultra Magnus figure comes with, is all these blast effects, which you will see utilized at the start of the video on the pictures. So we've got two of these. You have, in fact, you have three of those similar. You have two of these blast effects, one with a bit of smoke-like effect on it. And then you get this one. You also get the two guns which he is holding, which they're done in like a purpley sort of color. And you also get his rockets and the rockets are detachable. So for me, the colors on this guy absolutely pop. I think the colors really match the animation accuracy. I think the head sculpt matches it. Yes, he's maybe a bit wider than you would probably want them to be. But at the end of the day, Ultra Magnus was a big beefy character in the show. Uh, so the fact that he is a lot taller than the, the Kingdom version definitely is a win for me. Uh, it's probably not everyone's cup of tea. But for me, the, the colours on this guy, the sculpt work on this guy. You know, you have all this sculpt work down the back. It cleans up beautifully at the back. Um, you know, like this back panel and stuff out there just looks absolutely fantastic he looks amazing from all angles and he even has the matrix gimmick which is amazing and it's actually like a spring loaded too just as you lift this so this these actually pop out um it it's amazing and you get a little matrix which i'm not going to take out because it's just going to pop off and really struggle to find it but it is in there and it is removable that was just a lovely out of touch, I think. They sort of had to maybe for the 86 version of this guy. But we'll get down to the articulation and then I'll show them off along with a few of the, the other figures that I'm using in the 86 line. So the head can do a full 360. It can look down, which is an absolutely amazing range. A duty transformation back here with this hollow bit. You can look at a crazy amount up. Obviously, that would probably be enough. And it, you do get a little bit of side to side. Not a lot, but enough. So the arms can go out that way, about 90 degrees. They go 360 on a really good ratchet. Like that is a really good ratchet there in the shoulder. Um, you have got a bicep swivel and you have a really good ratcheted elbow which gets you about 90 degrees. He also has a wrist swivel and he has got opening hand um, which has two, two joints here so you can bend here and bend there. And the same with the other three, but the other three are pinned together. Now, if you detach this joint, you can get a butterfly joint. You can sort of fake it. But obviously the complete transformation obviously has this tabbed in, which then restricts that movement, but it is there. You can do a full 360 at the waist. There's no uh, ab crunch 
legs. Can go out to there. This flap sort of lifts up. You can go all the way back and pretty much all the way forward. Full range of what you would need, I think. You have got a knee bend, which gets you about roughly 90 degrees, which you can hear it's like soft ratchets going out that way. That's just a friction and ratchets in the knees. Then you have an ankle rocker. And there's no forward and backwards movement really, but you do get a pretty decent ankle rocker. So here he is beside his kingdom counterpart. Just lift this up a little bit. And you can see he absolutely towers over him. Uh, just the absolute bulk of this figure is sensational. Uh, it actually looks a lot wider on camera than it actually does in person, to be fair. Um, it, it does look really, really wide, but in person, it doesn't look as wide as that. It actually pretty looks in, pretty much looks in scale with uh, the actual animation. Just maybe if they didn't have this bit and that them arms were just on that wee bit, like you're chatting maybe about a centimeter, I think that would have made it look absolutely perfect. But for me, this is still a really, really fantastic even amazing representation. So here he is next to the Kingdom. So here he is next to the Kingdom Ultra Magnus. Here he is next to the Legacy Blaster. And here he is next to the Studio 86 Hot Rod. I have to say, skill wise, is perfect. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I don't do the transformation in the review video. I save that for a separate transform video so that I can spend the time and show you how to transform the robot from robot mode to vehicle mode and from vehicle mode back to robot mode. So that video will hopefully be going up this Wednesday after this video. Uh, so look out for that. So we're going to go from Ultra Magnus in his robot mode to Ultra Magnus in his vehicle mode. And I have to say the transformation from his robot to his vehicle mode is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. It's an enjoyable transformation and it does a great job in hiding that robot mode very, very well. Also another added bonus, the cab section is fully removable from the trailer section, but this cab section does not transform into its own robot itself. Now, as you do get the articulation here at the front for the driving motion. And as you can see, inside there it does cover up a lot of the robot mode very very well as you can see just from that also there is a lot of space back here to store vehicle modes which is definitely a lot more space than what we got with the kingdom version which i will show you right now and for me there's just no comparison yes this cab section can come apart and can make another separate robot but just look at the height difference sitting up here. Can't put pretty much nothing back here. This is what I'm talking about here. There's pretty much no room for anything to travel or transport within Ultra Magnus. And for me, that was definitely a big letdown. The front bumper grill being the red, just like in the animated series. 86 Magnus wins this round right from the word go. I think it definitely does scream. The original animation accurate vehicle mode. I mean, this was good to sort of stand in for the time being, but I definitely think that I will be letting this guy go. So after all those points that I've made, I will be sticking with the Studio Series 86, or in this case, switching up for the Studio's 86 Ultra Magnus. I think he is a far superior figure, uh, and he definitely fits what I'm looking for for my uh, 86 line for the movie, but this is definitely more of an Ultra Magnus. But maybe your opinion's different. Let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe give me the reasons why you, or you'd rather have the Kingdom Ultra Magnus instead. Definitely very interested to hear your opinions and thoughts. And until next time, guys, stay awesome.